Hi, good day. I don't want to waste your time, so let's go ahead to what you are here for. Today we are going to solve or we are going to find the derivative of a certain function using the sum rule. But first, let us try to define what is the sum rule. So the sum rule states that the derivative of the sum of two or more terms is equal to the, the sum of the derivative of each term. Again, the, the, the sum rule states that the derivative of the sum of two or more terms is equal to the, the sum of the derivative of each term. So what does it mean? For example, we have, we have here an example, y is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5. So in this example, we have how many terms? We have 1, 2, and 3. We have three terms in this example, first term, second term, and third term. So, our definition say, says that to find the derivative of this one, simply find the derivative of each term, then simplify. Alright, so let's go ahead to our example. Again, our example is this one, y is equals to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5. So, as our definition says, we are going to find the derivative of each term. So, we have d over dx of x cubed or the derivative of x cubed minus 4, the derivative of x squared, plus the derivative of 5, or d over dx of 5. Alright, so, again, uh, don't forget to put d over dx to denote that you are to find the derivative of that certain variable or certain terms. So, let's simplify. So, we have the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. So, we are, in this case, now, we have an exponent, so we are going to apply the what we call the power rule. Okay, the power rule. Let me write that one. Power rule. Basaba. Alright, so this is the power rule. It says that the derivative of a certain variable with an exponent n is equal to the you are going to put the n as the numerical coefficient of the, your variable, then subtract your uh, subtract n with positive 1. Alright, so subtract n with positive, positive 1. So that is what we have done here. Alright, so again, we are going to, uh, I'm going to repeat it. We have x cubed, so it is 3, our n is 3, our exponent is 3. So we are going to make the 3 as a numerical coefficient of your variable x, then subtract 3 with positive 1. So 3 minus 1, that is why you have positive 2 exponent in this term. So that is why we have 3x squared as your derivative of x cubed. Next, on your second term, we have negative 4 d over dx x squared. So first, let us find the derivative of x squared. So, make the exponent as your numerical coefficient of your variable x. We have 2x multiplied by negative 4, you have negative 8. Again, 2, make it as a numerical coefficient of your variable. So, we have 2x here multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 8. 2 uh, subtracted with positive 1 is positive 1. That is why you, uh, what's left is positive 1 or x in this term. Alright, so then, plus the derivative of a constant, any constant. So in this case, we have 5. But the derivative of any constant is always 0. That is why we have plus 0 in this term. Then simplify. 3x squared minus 8x. It means the derivative of y minus x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5 is 3x squared minus 8x. So that is how you solve or find the derivative of a function using the sum rule. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you, bye-bye. Hi, good day. I don't want to waste your time, so let's go to the Hi, I don't want to waste your time, so let's go the Ah, directly. Hi, I don't want to waste your time, so let's go directly. Ah! Hi, I don't want to waste your time, so let's go direct, directly to what you are here for. Hi, I don't want to waste your time, so let's go directly, 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 directly. So let's go ahead, ahead na lang bit.